Looks pretty boring in the back. It's all white. I have like KCON badges up here, but I don't think you could see them anyway. So I think that, we're gonna change this up just, just one second. Wow, there we go. This one was actually sent by a fan named Alexis. Thank you so much for that. I also got your message and I really appreciate that. Should I open up a PO box? Is that something that would interest you guys so you could send me stuff? I don't know, let me know. So we got Blackpink's as if it's your last dance practice video. So the one thing I love about the dance practice videos is the fact that we actually get to see the dance all at once instead of being combined with a music video where we see all the cinematics together. So it allows us just to see how they dance and who does what exactly in the music. So let's get right into it. Okay, that's cool. Oh, hello. And they go back into the single line. I think they do it really well, like highlighting who's singing just with how they dance and where they're positioned. And they're like, they're like pointing like, here you go, your turn. They got the hip movements and then, I like that they always do this, they have this in a couple other videos, <laughs> where they go in that line, like the Congo line. That's interesting. They, they did, they were able to switch from like a tougher kind of dance to like making it look way more adorable. And then is this the body roll part? No, not yet. That's cool. She's like doing a reverse shuffle. Or they all are. There it is. <laughs> I love that. Jeez, the way they, they just move so quickly, but smoothly. Lisa's just killing it like usual. See, like this, right there. They immediately switch from something intense in the same movement and they slow down. Just to emphasize that they're like, alright, we're hitting a slower part of the song. Yep, and there's that part. <clears throat> it's very adorable. <laughs> I don't know why that like motion they did right there reminds me of like a teacup. Like that's that nursery rhyme song. I don't know what Lisa's doing with her feet there. It's so confusing to follow. It's like super advanced. And then the body rolls. <laughs> it's perfect. Like this they got the symmetry going on. Just dance it in the back, and then we, we go back to the line, and then we got the crawling again. Which was in Bumbaya, right? And now it's like the end where it's like, the, now they're all just jamming together. You definitely see the pattern though, how they go through each section of the song where they're like, okay, we're gonna do like the four diamonds, now we're gonna be in a line. <laughs> and then there it is at the end they just all are together that's so you can see the patterns that they follow like one thing that they're really big on is they do have the whole line idea where they start off in a straight line and then they end up in a, in a, a horizontal line instead now that's not unique to them but it's one thing that I really like how they play off of for instance when you have them crawling through each other's legs it's really hard to choose a bias too when you see something like that but it's really cool that 
when we see the music video, we see all these parts that are very recognizable with how they dance, like the body roll part. But then in the actual dance and what they probably would perform on stage for you guys, and hopefully me one day when they come touring in America, which I really would hope, you can see when they do the things like the body rolls and which way they're facing and if they're facing each other or like outside towards the audience. They're very geometric. Like they start off with a line, then they switch to like a four point diamond and then they continue going through that, like switching who's in the front to really emphasize here's who's singing and dancing. And um, when they're done, they will then slowly transition to the other portion. And that's like usually in the chorus part of the song. And then when you go to the verses where it's really slow, three of them who aren't singing start doing the very slow motions with their hands, really emphasizing like, okay, we're hitting like a very important part, so really you should be focusing on who's singing and what they have to, you know, how their body movements are. So it's just a nice way of how they're putting everything together and really making this performance just dope. So, and, and something I didn't realize during the actual music video when they came out with it is that this is like not even part of Square 3. This was almost like a, a treat to the fans. So that's really cool that they did this and went through the efforts of putting this together. And they were able to hit the like cutesy song too. But the way Blackpink does cutesy isn't like the normal way. It still has that like tough aura. But as someone put it in the comments, this is their pink side. And before we saw their black side, you know, the really hardcore side. But since they're Blackpink, you're always gonna get a little bit of both whenever they perform, and that's what I love about them. I, they can't really be replaced because not only are they good performers and singers, but their personalities really shows, like even in the music videos. But if you wanna see more about me talking about that, you can always just watch my music video reaction, which I will leave a link to down below somewhere so you can go check it out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, and if you're new, subscribe. And uh, what do you think of this? Should I add more hats, less hats? Do you have posters to send? I don't know, let me know. Until next time, bye.